you from hanging up on callers to promising one thing and doing another to forcing people to wait months to collect their benefits. North Carolina continues to fail too many people who desperately need their unemployment checks. The governor promised the defenders Nate Morbido he's pushing the state to get critical payments to families living on the edge. That after Nate helped a Matthews woman collect $9,000 in overdue unemployment benefits. Tonight, we continue to ask, where's the money? It took four months, but North Carolina is finally caught up on unemployment payments from the first month of this pandemic. Overwhelmed from the start, the state has hired more than 2,000 employees, almost five times more workers to handle claims and customer service. Even so, thousands of people are still waiting. The Division of Employment Security Helpline. Application. I have a question about my application. It hasn't been processed yet. And I can't the Home to hangups. We're sorry, but all of our call center agents are assisting other people right now. Disappointing dead ends. If you need to speak to an agent, please call back at another time. And maddening miscommunication. It seems like every agent that I speak to gives you a different story. Susan Davidovich lost her job before the pandemic in January and then lost seasonal work in March, yet until recently only received a portion of her unemployment benefits. It's never gotten resolved. Her account home to an isolated issue. None of them are authorized to correct my issue. Agents left with no choice but to escalate her claim. They tell me they don't see any notes on there that it's been escalated. I'm questioning whether they even are being truthful when they're telling me they're escalating my claim. We've learned there's a big misconception. According to DES, escalation does not mean immediate resolution. It can take six weeks. Oh. A bummer for those waiting. She said a couple days. Why? Historically, North Carolina has struggled with unemployment. Even before this pandemic, the federal government ranked the state the worst in the country for timely payments. When will the state fix these problems? First, there's been significant progress made in this area. Governor Roy Cooper is quick to remind us just how many claims the state has resolved, nearly 830,000 at this point, but also acknowledges the combined 100,000 plus complicated claims still pending state and federal resolution. It is critically important to get these payments to these families who are living on the edge. He assures us DES is, quote, working hard to get those claims resolved, adding more and more employees from across state government to help. And we're pulling people from other agencies to DES in order to be able to help them and assist them with this uh, significant but highly important task. And they're going to keep working every day and I'm going to keep pushing them. We understand that for the people who have lost their job, the help can't get there soon enough. The struggling agency changed leadership in May. DES recently told us it has substantially improved its system over the last four months, continually training agents and constantly reviewing call center operations in search of customer service improvements. I'm totally in shock. I mean, the response was unbelievable. Thankfully, Susan Davidovich doesn't have to call the dreaded helpline anymore. It was over $9,000. Wow. Yes. Shortly after we reached out to the state on her behalf. You're a miracle worker. She received 10 weeks of unemployment benefits. How do I feel? Like a heavy weight has been lifted off my shoulders. With all of its flaws, the state insists most people get their money quickly. A first payment within 14 days of filing, as long as there aren't any problems with the claim. I filed in June after getting furloughed for one week and received my payment in eight days. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.